Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about use the quotient rule to simplify square roots. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. So what is this quotient rule? The quotient rule for simplifying square roots is as follows. The square root of the quotient a over b is equal to the quotient of the square roots of a and b, where b is not equal to zero. So what is that in a nutshell? It is this. We have the square root of a over b, remember the whole thing together, is equal to each one individually. The square root of a divided by the square root of b. And that's our quotient rule in symbolic form, okay? So let's dive in and use some examples for this. So we have example four here. And what if we had the square root of five over 36? Well, our quotient rule tells us that we can take the square root of each number individually. So we have the square root of five over the square root of 36 here, all right? There we go. So by doing that, this helps us maybe simplify. Well, the square root of 5, I can't really break that down anymore. So I'm going to leave it as such, the square root of 5. But the denominator, the square root of 36, we know is 6. 6 times 6 is 36. So square root of 6 is 36. And there we have our answer. We simplified this square root, 5 over 36, to be equal to square root of 5 over 6. There's nothing else that we can do to break this down. So let's try another example here. And this one <laughs> gets tricky pretty quickly. So let's say we have this, the square root of 234, and what is that, x to the 11th power, y over the square root of 26 x to the seventh y. Now remember before when we learned about the product rule that these this rule can go back and forth. Well same things with the quotient. We already see it broken up here in two different square roots. So we could write this as one big square root. And that's almost preferable sometimes when there's things that we can simplify here. So let's write this as one big square root, and the division is on the inside. We have 234 x to the 11th power y over the denominator 26 x to the 7th power y. And then from here, we now can start trying to break some things down. Now, I don't know this always off the top of my head, but I have my notes here. But 234 divided by 26 is 9. So we have the square root of 9 here. Now, we have x to the 11th over x to the 7th. And remember, we can subtract the exponents. So 11 minus 7 is 4. So we have x to the 4th power. And lastly, well, y over y is just 1. And we don't need to write that 1 here. Okay? But we're not done. We have the square root of 9x to the 4th, and we can simplify that even more. The square root of 9 here, well, or remember from before, we can take the square root of each number individually. Now, I don't need to show that step anymore. Um, so as we get better, we're not going to show every single little step like that. Square root of 9 is just 3, and the square root of x to the 4th power is x squared. And so my answer here is just 3x to the 2nd power. I hope this video was informative. If it was, please hit the subscribe button down below and like this video and comment here. That lets YouTube uh, share this video more and it helps us make more videos for viewers like you. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.